In this clinical video, we will discuss a case of congenital hypothyroidism. Okay, let's start. Two-month-old male baby weighing 3.4 kilos presented with complaint of abdominal distension since birth, constipation since birth and protrusion of umbilicus since one month. On examination, hairs are dry and lusterless. Co's facial features are quite evident in this baby and consist of puffy face, swollen eyelids, eyes seem widely separated due to depressed nasal bridge, narrow palpebral fissures, broad nose and open mouth with broad thick protuberant tongue. In fact, it is rare to find such a characteristic facial appearance of hypothyroidism at this age. Neck is short, abdomen is distended and umbilical hernia is present. Baby is flaccid and hypotonic. On further questioning, mother told that baby sleeps most of the time, cries little and feeds properly. To evaluate further, thyroid function test was ordered, which showed low T4 and high TSH. Based on presenting complaints, examination findings and thyroid function test, a diagnosis of congenital hypothyroidism is made. After seeing this case, it obviously comes in mind that what are the causes of congenital hypothyroidism. Let's see one by one. In about 85% of cases, the etiology is dysgenesis, which means abnormalities in anatomic development of thyroid gland in the form of agenesis, not formed at all, hypoplasia, formed less, or ectopy, means ectopic location. Another 10% of cases are due to dishormonogenesis, which means inborn defects in thyroid hormone synthesis. A small percentage of cases are due to central hypothyroidism, which means insensitivity or resistance to thyroid hormone. Rarely, in neonatal period, congenital hypothyroidism is transient and results from transplacental passage of maternal medications or antithyroid antibodies. Let's review few more clinical relevant points in a question answer format. Now the question is why screening in newborn is recommended? And the answer is it's because even severe hypothyroidism is clinically silent so it is recommended. Next question is what is the ideal time for sending screening blood samples in newborn? And the answer is ideally Blood samples for screening should be sent between 2nd and 4th day of life to avoid the TSH elevation associated with normal neonatal TSH surge. Next question is, what result on neonatal screening is consistent with congenital hypothyroidism? And the answer is, infants with high TSH and low T4 should be considered to have congenital hypothyroidism until proven otherwise. Treatment consists of starting levothyroxine in dose of 10 to 15 micrograms per kilogram per day. Levothyroxine was started in this baby. Let's again see this baby after 45 days of starting treatment. According to mother, baby is more active now which we are also seeing and sleeps less. Facial features become quite sharp. Abdomen is now no more distended and umbilical hernia regressed.